I've never done this. In 45 years of practicing law, I've never waited in a corridor for a jury. I always do. I can tell you're, you're good at it. You seem so at peace doing it. So what do you think? Is it good to stay out this long or is it bad? For who? For me, of course. <laughs> you can never tell, can you? I mean, it could mean anything. I mean, it could mean jury duty is more fun than working at the post office. <laughs> it's bad for both of you. You think? Here's my take. Guilty? Not guilty. That's what they're going to say. And it's not going to have anything to do with dates or ground water measurements or any of that crap, which nobody can understand anyway. It's going to come down to people like it always does. You found someone who saw him dumping stuff. You didn't find anyone who saw him. What's your take? I'll say the truth. The truth? I thought we were talking about a court of law. Come on, you've been around long enough to know that the court isn't a place to look for the truth. And you're lucky to find anything here that in any way resembles the truth. You disagree. <laughs> Since when? Eight kids are dead, Jerry. Jan. Jan, that suit fit you better than the sentimentality. <laughs> That's not how you made all that money all these years, is it? You want to know when this case stopped being about dead children? The minute you filed the complaint, the minute it entered the justice system. Why don't we test your born-again faith in the righteousness of our courts with a high-stakes gamble? See? Okay. If that's a settlement offer, Jerry, it's not enough. That's not what I hear. Oh, well, uh, we've been talking The about. IRS telling us they have a lien on any eventual settlement in order to recover over two and a half million dollars in unpaid taxes. What if I were to add six zeros onto that? That's right, that would be, what, $20 million. Now, <laughs> that would put things in perspective for you, wouldn't it, as far as truth and justice and, uh, and dead children go? If you want to talk seriously about a settlement offer, let's get the decision makers together and talk seriously. The decision makers are here, aren't they? I mean, you're looking at Mr. Beatrice. And I don't have to call anybody to you. <laughs> it's just you and me. We're like kings. And we are kings. Sitting in our castle deciding important things. Deciding the fates of others. And counting money in our counting room. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll leave this here. I'll go back down the hall to my throne room and I'll await your decision. Boy, well, if you're really looking for the truth, Jan, look for it where it is at the bottom. Thank you.
Mr. Foreman, members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. 